Dorothy just uh, fucking hammered out seven, the 765? Yeah. Seven, right? Yeah. Uh, 765 and you did 10 reps. Just like you got to the eighth and you fucking shook your head and still got it out, which I like, man. Yeah. A little bit disappointed. <laughs> I would have liked, I would have loved 15. I would have liked 13. Yeah. But, uh, I already just said to them, I've been up for like 35 hours. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's cool to see you get uh, charged up like that. Like, what, like, what are you, what are you thinking of? Because like your eyes change, your whole demeanor changes. You're pretty, like, um, well, I don't want to say that you were you were mellow beforehand, but you're very nice, you're very kind, you're very calm, and then boom, the fucking switch hits. Like, what's what's going through your head? Uh, you know, I've been doing it for so long, man. I used to think about uh, I used to think about my little brother and stuff. I still often do. Yeah. Well, how about him? <sighs> I was about 10 years old. Uh, my little brother got cancer. What? Well, I guess he was like born with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was a baby. Shit, man, I didn't know this. Yeah. And um, he passed away. I had two siblings before him that died. Yeah. They were around for a while. You know what I mean? So it was pretty hard on my yeah. parents. And uh, I was old enough right. to experience it with him. I remember being like five or six. My parents would be crying at a funeral or something. I'm like, I don't understand. Yeah. But that's always kind of fueled me a little bit. I you always think about kind of like the pain your family went through, and you're still here, and you're still able to do stuff. You're still alive. I think to myself, would you be able to get this rep? If we get this set, this weight for him, if you could get him back yeah. by doing it. Wow. I I talk to people I work with, and I'm like. Could you have gotten another rep yeah. for your girlfriend, for your mother? It's always of course. Yeah. Well, if it's of course, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Fucking get it done. Exactly. So that's trying to put myself in a state of mind where the most important thing yeah. is getting that weight. I put in a very unrealistic uh, spin on things. It's not going to get them back. Right. You know what I mean? But it works for me, and it's helped me deal with... Um, all of the things I've gone through, you know what I mean? It's, it's a good outlet. Yeah. I notice a lot of people that talk to me, they're thankful for my videos mostly because they didn't know that lifting was such an outlet for that kind of thing. For stuff that stresses you out, bothers you, yeah. makes you unhappy, whatever. I, I always tell people too, it, it looks like, you know, it looks like we're just picking up weights and putting them back down, but there's so much more going on to it than anybody can really comprehend. Like, who knew? You had all those things racing through your head until I just asked you now. I never heard you talk about it before. You may have talked about it in a video, but aside from me and, you know, this video and maybe one other video you made, like, who would know that unless, you know, and a lot of lifters have other stories going through their head of shit they've been through, shit they dealt with to, to get yeah. through whatever it is they're trying to get through, to try to get through their fucking day, right? Yeah. Some of the strongest people have some crazy stories, man. Right. And they might even say they don't, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But like you get to know them a little bit better, and they've got some stuff. I think you need a certain level of <sighs> distaste for things. You know what I mean, you need a certain level of of anger and hatred that you can call on because it really isn't. Yeah, there's a saying that says, uh, "Those who don't know they're walking through darkness will never see the light." Uh huh. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> yeah. So you kind of know you're walking through darkness, and you're walking towards the light. Yeah. Negative into a positive, if you right. can. 